CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Why is the Rex's edge moving? It seemed like a routine case until half the nucleus was removed. Mm. Let's watch the case here. So tripan blue dye is already in. Here comes the viscoelastic. And let's see the main incision here. That looks pretty good. And now let's get holding the eye with forceps through the para. Here's the keratome. And then poking in and looks like also using the keratome to, to incise the lens capsule. Okay, interesting. And now the rectus looks good. It's a normal rectus creation. Let's watch the surgery. So think about that. Why was the rectus normal? Like the capsule wasn't wrinkly at all. Everything seemed fine. And then you start doing the surgery. Here's some chop technique here. Divide this nucleus up into fragments. And here we go. A little groove maybe even to help split it a little bit more. So a couple of chops maybe didn't fully propagate. You can groove a little bit more to help uh, achieve that separation of the two halves. There we go. So it looks pretty good. Everything looks reasonable here, right? But now look what happened. So chopping a little more. Now starting to take the pieces out. And what you're going to notice is the rex is going to move. So at this point, the surgeon made the rex is just about as big as the pupil. So here, you you don't see much of the, or any of the tripan blue stained anterior lens capsule. So again, splitting the piece here, these type of white cataracts can have this fibrous kind of appearance where it's hard to separate the, the pieces. But there you go. There comes a quarter brought up to the iris plane. You must, now look, there's the rexus. Why do you see that blue capsule there? As the pieces are removed, well, what happened? Oh, a little bit of buzz of the iris. Don't worry, I didn't see that. Now, as you remove these pieces here, what happens? Well, you're not supporting the bag. So when the nucleus is in the bag, even if there's a quadrant of designer loss, you're supporting it with the nucleus. So as you start to remove the pieces, well, that area of lack of designer support is going to start to collapse. So here it is. There's what's remaining of the nucleus. About a half is left. Get some more viscoelastic in there. Yep, I think you need a CTR at this point. Maybe even you could put a temporary capsule hook at this point to support that one area. Perhaps you do a CTR and then, and then maybe on top of that a capsule hook and then at the end with the eye oil in the bag, then you can decide, hey, do I have enough support to leave it as is or I need to put in like a capsule retention segment or something. Now back with the FACO probe again. And here's why I'd like the chopper in the eye. There we go. Split these pieces. Um, you def you could have put the CTR in already because with this type of cataract, not a lot of cortical, cortical material. Taking that piece down and just be careful because uh, exactly as you take the viscoelastic out, the nucleus comes out and then the viscoelastic comes out. So put more viscoelastic in, push that capsule back. So it looks like at least a quadrant of zonular loss. And now probably a CTR. And let's see, just when you're looking around maybe, just uh, lift up the iris. Okay. There you can see, wow, so it's a, it's an extensive area. It's at least three clock hours. And so now more viscoelastic. Oh, viscoelastic is your friend. As we know, viscoelastic, cheaper than vitreous. Now I'm guessing a CTR at this point or maybe capsule hooks. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. As you know, there's the CTR. Um, you know, I like to place it by using a sensor kick to hold that leading eyelet and putting that in. And that should make a big difference. That should help a lot. And now just make sure it's in the bag, right? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it is. And now it's a little bit hard to see with this video. There you go. A little more viscoelastic is always a good good call. And, and let's see what's next. Enlarging the incision. Okay, that's reasonable. Probably going to put a three-piece lens then. No? Okay, here's the end of the case. Lens in the bag already. It's already. The video's been cut for me. I didn't have to do anything. And okay. Cut that, rotate it. That lens, not sure why you had to enlarge the incision for it, but rotate the suture in, get the knot buried. And now let's use a maybe bimanual IA now, take out the viscoelastic, the little, little bit of lens fragments there as well. Not sure if we're going to address the damaged iris tissue that got hit by the FACO probe. So here's bimanual IA. Hey, did I tell you about our podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology, featuring yours truly. And it really seeks to give you the tools to become a successful ophthalmologist. We reveal all the secrets to success, I promise you. Check it out. It's everywhere where you find your podcast services. So now, all right, viscoelastic has been removed. And just not so sure about the stability of this. See, with the viscoelastic out of the eye, I'm not sure. Is it, uh, is it totally stable? Is that the, cat, the Rex is still kind of moved in a bit. I'd wonder if there is vitreous prolapse. Probably, I'd say, so put some triamcinolone in now. 
just to see is, do you need to do a little bit of a vitrectomy? Do you have enough support here? I mean, it looks reasonable. Perhaps patient, well, well, leave me a comment below. What do you think? You got to watch the whole case too. What do you think he, will you do here? Would you, oh, there's a triamcinolone. Thank you, I'll take that. It's a lot of triamcinolone. I would put a lot less than that. But you're okay washing it out, diluting it. Hey, no vitreous prolapse. So perhaps this was great. Patient will do fine. Labs look relatively stable. Would you leave this as is or would you go back and try to do fixation? Remember, you can always just leave it as is and see how the patient does. And then if you need to, fixate it later. Beautiful case. Thank you for sharing. And remember, check out that podcast. Every week, a brand new episode. You will learn so much everywhere where you find your podcasts. Check it out.